So today I'm going to go through and talk about a lot of things stress related when it comes to skin and when I mention skin I'm also going to be really referring to the scalp as well. We have a lot of clients come into us in clinic and in our stores and a lot of the main concerns would be maybe a stressed broken out skin and um, maybe the barrier has been impaired so it's very set to become very sensitive and then hand in hand alongside can go with that um, a sensitive itchy irritated scalp or hair loss and thinning. So obviously it's very personal, but different things can cause us to become stressed in our lives, whether that be maybe personal life, a work-life balance, it can be anyone going through a health complication. There's really endless um, reasons that we can become stressed and sometimes it's unavoidable. So the best thing to do is, yeah, I suppose, ride the wave, break everything down into really manageable chunks that you can try and control your stress and try and lessen it. But I suppose a few of the things that you might notice when you're stressed is that you know we start to look tired we start to look kind of dehydrated so with stress we can become our sweat glands can produce a lot more sweat when the body's under stress and that can actually link into dehydration as well so we all know a dehydrated um skin doesn't function to as optimal so you're going to see things like um sometimes accelerated aging um, deepening of lines and wrinkles our collagen becomes under stress and it starts to get brittle and that's when under long periods of time with stress you will start to see somebody uh, maybe becoming a lot older looking a lot quicker if you're seeing a lot of significant changes in your skin and scalp when and it pot, they're possibly kind of stress induced best thing to do is to i suppose take stock of the products that you're using at the moment and then definitely reach out and get some advice from your skin therapist um or your hairstylist your your hairdresser because they're going to be in the best position to be able to recommend the correct products for you so some things that we can do to really try and control and stress proof our skin would be number one would be hydration. So definitely keeping on top of your water intake is really important. And remember, we generally need about two litres of water a day just to keep everything functioning, you know, uh, correctly. And it doesn't necessarily get to our skin. So we have a lot of clients that come in and say, I drink loads of water. Well, that's good. We want you to keep that up, but it doesn't always reach our skin then. So um, a fabulous one that I would always recommend for anyone who's suffering with dehydration. Um, and skin omegas actually have anti-inflammatory properties as well. But this would be your hydration uh, from the inside out. And don't forget, like we're really targeting the skin from really head to toe with anything omegas it's not just face and neck when i talk about skin we're talking full body so alongside the likes of hydrating supplements i suppose a lot of stress um can you know be really apparent within our gut and that tends to have um an outward an outward effect then um on our skin so when the gut is stressed and not really working to capacity you're not going to get a um, good absorption of your supplements even if you're taking other supplements so getting your gut health um under control is really important this is skin youth biome again skin specific but um targeted with billions of cultures of probiotics to help keep the the gut really happy and healthy so increased pigmentation could be one of the signs of a stressed skin as well so um discoloration darkening of um spots maybe pigmentation that you've never noticed before um and that's because the melanocyte within the deep within the skin gets excited when the skin is stressed and it starts to produce and overproduce melanin and it comes towards the surface then so the best thing to do is obviously you're going to be wearing your spf every day anyway but being really conscious of reapplication because when we're out and about and especially coming into these um, brighter longer sunnier days it's ap reapplication is more important than um you know the high factor that's in your sun protection so if all you're able to do is really keep on top of your sun protection i'd be really really happy with that but at night time if you have a little bit more time on your hands to kind of add a few more extra topical products to help stress proof and calm the skin this is one of my all-time favorites it's half gone it's the environ serions night serum this is particularly this was particularly um created for stressed skin so you know what better product to pop on it but um it's the only product within environ that you can actually see through the tube but as you can see it's got malachite extract extract in it which is really calming and soothing for the skin and that's what gives it the blue color it's an actual it's a natural mineral that's uh, occurring within the product and it also has a peptide in it as well 
which is going to target the aging factor that stress can have such um, an effect on. So then our barrier becomes kind of really impaired and it can break down. So when I suggest, when I talk about the barrier, I really mean if you're someone who had maybe particularly normal normal skin before or oily skin or combination or whatever it may be if you're suddenly finding products that you've used before starting to maybe sting um, aggravate the skin you're all of a sudden feeling kind of dry and it's kind of rough to, to texture rough to touch your barrier is then impaired so we need to peel everything back Um, ideally talk to your skin therapist but stop using um all of your active products that might have you know acids um high levels of retinol anything like that so we would pause that and we're just going to concentrate on hydration and um, barrier repair so this is a fantastic one from Yvain so this contains copper and zinc in it and zinc is a really healing mineral that um we can pop onto our skin and like that it's going to immediately calm immediately soothe and it's going to help keep that barrier protected to allow it to restore itself there are endless other products um you know our website millies.ie is absolutely amazing now with um the amount of products the amount of brands that we now stock so there really is something out there for everyone um every sort of budget every sort of type of product so um one of them that i absolutely love and i re-recommend all the time for anyone with um that kind of very sensitive skin that nearly gets hot so with a stressed skin um it can get red there's a lot of heat in it so for immediately cooling the asap soothing gel with aloe vera is a must to have um cold straight away the minute you go on the skin so when we think of stress i think i immediately think of heat and someone getting really red and kind of nearly steam coming out of the ears and this is a real firefighting gel that's going to pop onto a stressed skin bring the heat down straight away help soothe and calm so with stress skin or the effects of stress skin being evident, it's not just, we don't have to solely rely on topical products and supplement. If that's not something that you can kind of freely use or might be not at your, maybe possibly not be at your disposal. Um, there's other ways that you can help um, because when our skin is stressed, our muscles can tighten. We can get a lot of tension in the face. They can cause headaches. So doing things like um, using the flat gua sha stone, they're actually amazing. So just with a nice carrier oil underneath it or facial oil and following there is loads of tutorials on um the gua sha techniques that really helps or face yoga a lot of there's a lot of information out there now about facial yoga and what that does is it not only helps to firm and um kind of bring fresh blood to the muscles in the face but it can also release a lot of tension as well so where we're feeling tensed and stressed our muscles even unbeknownst to ourselves can create different movements and repetitive movements and with that we can get like um I suppose with that repetitive movement you can get uh, further indentations of lines and wrinkles as well so using a gua sha with a facial oil or uh, doing some face yoga can really help relax and rejuvenate the skin and also like everything if your skin is not obviously your main concern when you're in this stress state you know a stressed dull tired looking skin can be a byproduct of what you're going through you know at the present and in the moment so definitely be really really kind to yourself look more at if the skin is kind of secondary or you know way down the list in terms of your priorities definitely look more at calming your nervous system and uh, looking at things to help bring you a bit of peace and calm whether that be journaling and um, using essential oils in a diffuser giving yourself that time out to really try and relax the body because like that yes topical products and supplements are absolutely fantastic but um, I'm also very aware that a lot of that might be secondary to whatever sort of stressful situation you might be going through. So definitely, you know, looking at the well-being part of it and the holistic part of it, because it all stems from internal and it stems from within you as well. So things like that, having more time for yourself, getting really, really um, up to speed with a really good quality sleep, whether that be heated eye mask to help you drift off um. There are little tiny things that you can do that will help to stress proof the skin um, but definitely I'm under no illusion that this absolutely all helps but definitely it starts within you. And last but not least I know that if you are under any sort of pressure or stress at the moment and you're 
you know, seem to be experiencing a skin concern, um, whether it can be also acne, overproduction of sebum, and your skin is completely changed, that can also aggravate and prolong the stress that you're going through. So definitely reach out to a skin therapist that you trust, um, get some advice, keep your routine really simple and consistent, and then you will see progress and changes. Um, but definitely never be afraid to kind of reach out and just say, my skin is never like this. Um, I don't know where to start. And we would be more than happy to help. But I know if you are not local to us um, in Kildare, there are plenty of other fabulous skin therapists out there that would love to recommend and give you the right advice going forward.